In scores of studies, soft drinks, even diet variants have been related to obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. But what exactly is it about Diet Coke that makes it so hazardous for you? After all, there are no calories or sugars in this beverage. Diet Coke, it turns out, could be equally as dangerous as sugary drinks. Although it does not induce weight gain directly, it does boost sugar cravings and has an effect on your metabolism. Hi, I'm James and I'm about to cover these three topics here. Diet Coke Nutrition Facts Does Diet Coke help in weight loss? and is aspartame a blood sugar booster. So stay tuned till the end of this video as this one could be another useful informative video for you. Let's dive right into it. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, about one-fifth of Americans consume diet soda on a daily basis. Diet Coke, for example, has been around for decades and is popular all around the world. Millions of gym goers and health conscious eaters swear by it. Surprisingly, health organizations have issued warnings regarding diet soda's hazards. Artificially sweetened beverages, for example, cannot be ruled out as an independent risk factor for diabetes. According to a cohort research published in Current Development in Nutrition in May 2018, furthermore, contrary to popular belief, it does not protect against type 2 diabetes. So what exactly is it about Diet Coke that makes it so unhealthy for you? One can that is 12 fluid ounces contains no calories, no sugar, no fats, and very little salt. Diet Coke calories are not anything to be concerned about. Its ingredients, on the other hand, may be hazardous to one's health. These are some of them caffeine, caramel color, carbonated water, potassium benzoate, aspartame, phosphoric acid, natural flavors, citric acid. Diet Coke sugar substitute, aspartame, includes phenylalanine, an amino acid that can induce seizures and brain damage in persons who have the genetic disorder, phenylketonuria, individuals with anxiety disorders, sleep issues, or tardive dyskinesia should be cautious when using aspartame. According to the Mayo Clinic, this addictive can exacerbate anxiety and create jitters when ingested in large amounts. Does Diet Coke help in weight loss? According to a study published in the journal Trends in Endocrinology and Metabolism in September 2013, Diet Coke might not be as diet friendly as you believe. Obesity, type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, high blood pressure, and cardiovascular disease have all been related to artificially sweetened beverages. The link between artificially sweetened beverages and weight on the other hand is debatable. Every study that claims diet soda causes obesity is countered by another that claims the exact opposite. According to a review published in the August 2012 edition of Diabetes Care, researchers concur that artificially sweetened beverages consumers often end up eating more because of the initial calorie reduction impact. Similar findings have been published in the journal Trends in Endocrinology and Metabolism. Diet soda has been linked to an increase in hunger and sugar cravings in several studies, although more research is needed to back up these assertions. Artificial sweeteners are mostly to blame for these potential negative effects. In addition, a recent cohort study of youngsters found that those who drank low-calorie sweetened beverages absorbed an additional 196 calories per day. The findings were published in the journal Pediatric Obesity in May 2019. Diet soda may aid weight loss if there isn't a compensatory increase in calorie consumption from other sources, according to the diabetes care analysis. Is aspartame a blood sugar booster? Diet Coke is also a popular beverage among diabetics. It shouldn't elevate blood glucose levels because it's sugar-free. Again, the majority of studies are contradictory. According to a study published in Trends in Endocrinology and Metabolism, persons who consume one or more artificial sweetened or sugar-sweetened beverages each day may increase their risk of diabetes. Similar findings were found in a research published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in January 2013. Both types of beverages may contribute to metabolic syndrome and diabetes, according to researchers. Diet soda, according to one idea, stimulates hunger and makes people crave sweet foods. According to some research, aspartame may produce a glycemic response similar to that of sugar. Artificial sweeteners may also alter the gut microbiota which can impact body weight and metabolism. In May 2016, another large-scale study published in Applied Physiology, Nutrition, and Metabolism connected aspartame used to glucose intolerance in obese adults but not in the lean ones. 
According to medical experts at the Mayo Clinic and the Jocelyn Diabetes Center, aspartame has no effect on blood sugar levels and can be safely eaten by diabetics. As you can see, the research is contradictory. Sugar and calories in Diet Coke are not an issue. On the other hand, aspartame may not be completely safe. Overall, a glass of Diet Cola every now and again is unlikely to harm your health. Keep track of your total calorie consumption and enjoy this beverage in moderation. Consider substituting fruit-infused water, lemon water or unsweetened iced tea for diet soda. Carbonated water with fresh mint leaves and lemon or lime juice is also a nice option.